guys, welcome to me reacting to Game Theory FNAF Security Breach. I know the big twist, I think, by the game theorist. Now, this is, I'd say a little bit late. I mean, I've seen a lot of theories regarding FNAF Security Breach, and a lot of people theorize that the, that like, the person that they're talking about, well, in the trailer, you heard a voice, and a lot of people theorize that that's Glamrock Freddy, who's talking to this kid, I guess. And, you know, when he says, like, oh, she found us, they're talking about Vanny. So the whole theories about Vanny were correct. That, yeah, Vanny is the new... So that, yeah, that was right. That was 100% right. But I don't know what the twist is either. Like... So, here's the thing. I think this whole thing is like a mall or something. I don't know. There is there is a lot of weird stuff around surrounding this. So, I think this is actually a mall that sort of, you know, is like... I don't know. It's, it's basically like celebrating FNAF. And it's like this huge, like, pizza plex where, like, people can go. And my guess is that Vanny is going to cause some crazy crap. Since, like... Yeah, so this is obviously coming after the VR, uh, FNAF VR, because of Vanny, because Van the whole mask situation and all that, you know, like, Vanny being taken over. And also, it definitely explains the theories that uh, the person behind the tapes was, in reality, trying to, like, make you collect all of them so that way you'd unleash Glitchtrap. So, yeah. So, Vanny actually, you know, yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, reading this in the description, make subscribe to the game. Theory saying, so it's in the description. Anyways, let's get right into it. Alright, we're going with a creepy intro. Oh, what? Wait, is he saying the kid is the crying child? Because it's a crying child. Oh, purple guy. Oh, no, duh. the man behind the slaughter. What's with the sound? The like buzzing thing. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I see spring trap. FNAF security breach got its first trailer out during a PlayStation 5 yeah, announcement event. That was hype. I remember reacting to that. Incredible. Gregory. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gregory. So yeah, the name was Long Gregory. The days of just looking at static filled still right. image camera feeds, my friends. And before we move on, can I just say how cool it is to see an indie franchise started by Oh yeah, that was sick. Dollar General. And now Why he's like up with third party. Now getting a spotlight along with oh, time honored franchises like Final Fantasy and God of War. And not only getting spotlight alongside him getting more views than nearly everything else in that show really that's awesome well done scott really really well deserved now based on the trailer it looks like i did not notice that a freddy fazbear's pizza plex playing a life or oh, death yeah. game of hide and seek against yeah it does seem like you're playing hide and seek vanny that i really want to dive into today she's teased twice yeah in the trailer once via a bunny shape yeah at the shadow sequence, and again as the final jump, jump scare, scare. Yeah. now we've suspected for a while that she's coming via teaser images on Scott's website, merch leaks, Easter eggs, oh, yeah, and merch leaks. FNAF VR, all things that I've covered before in past theories. But the thing I wanted to look closer at today she's... is her backstory and her relationship to Glitch Glitch Trap. Trap. Because yeah. even though this game hasn't come out yet, and we honestly don't know when it's coming out, we do already know a ton about oh. this new character. In fact, true to Scott's style of storytelling, we probably won't get that much of a backstory for Vanny in this new game. I don't know if you've noticed this about Scott's games, but important story bits tend to happen around the games rather than in the games. Well, Let me explain oh that. yeah, he in is right. Location, we end with baby yeah, being part of Enter. He is and right. if you get the super secret ending, you see that she gets puked up into a sewer. Fast forward to FNAF 6 and they're suddenly two separate entities again. Scrap Baby and Molten Freddy. To 99.9% .9 of the players, you would have no idea how or why that would have happened. And I can't blame them because the only way you would know that baby got voted out of the Enter tribe was <laughs> what? the source code on Scott's website, as well as a separate standalone site, FNAFworld.com. Just go oh, to show what? that we talk about FNAF, the game never oh, really stops. So it's in and the, the thing is, I think Vanny is already getting treated this same way. The information about her, what is now getting her to kill, the big twist reveal about Vanny's true nature, has already been laid out for us, if you're paying attention to the to websites. parts of the FNAF. 
FNAF universe. So if, unlike me, you don't have time to keep track of the 12 games, 9 books, <laughs> the toys, and a moon-faced animatronic in a pizza tree, what? Well, that's why I'm here. Because all the pieces are out there in place for us, and now we're going to be putting them that? back together to understand the true backstory of Vanny, the killer bunny. Purple guy 2.0, before security breach comes. Hey, Recently, purple guy 2.0. Wanted got itself a mobile port. Big whoop, right? We've already seen this game two other times before. Once in VR, and again in a flat console port. Don't get me wrong, love this game. Probably my favorite game of the franchise, but still, Scott, you ain't getting me to buy this for a third time. He totally got me to buy it oh, a third time. So because they added more? Port, a lot of the game has been stripped away. Gone is the intro sequence. Gone are some of the game modes. But most notably gone are the hidden cassettes really? that tell the story of Help Wanted's failed development. Now, if you remember back to a year ago... Really? He got rid of that? 16 of those hidden tapes in the original game inadvertently assembled our latest villain, Glitch Trap, mm. piece by piece. And once fully together, he was able to capture yep. us in the game and presumably escape back out into the real world. That that's all gone now in the mobile. So what does that mean? It's what? Place, though, maybe something. Yeah, better. what replaces Immediately it? upon opening up the game, it becomes clear that this mobile port is more broken than FNAF World 1.0. Oh! Textures glitching out in both the main hub and in the various mini games. Now, obviously, these are intentional effects, and by zooming in and tapping on them repeatedly, honestly, I can't say exactly what I did to do it. I just was there a long time pounding away at my screen. The screen eventually fades to black, and suddenly you're presented with everyone's favorite part of the series an 8-bit minigame with rudimentary gameplay steeped in oh. lore what Okay, it's actually more like 16-bit at this point, but still. We're told that this game is called Princess, Princess Quest, Quest. With you playing as a little girl lighting torches to unlock oh, doors what? and running away from glitching bunny people. Glitching bunnies, you say? After making your way through a ruined castle... So that's in, in the mobile you game? unlock a long corridor that leads to a final lantern and, no points if you guessed it, Glitch Trap himself. Yeah, what is that? The game goes dark and suddenly you're taken back to the game's well, game. Yeah, I was wondering, that was like a purple crab. explanatory right? It's a reference to Glitch Trap in a game that had to eliminate him due to size constraints. But it's the details here that really matter. Not counting the torches in front of the six gravestones, which are very clearly references oh, to the original yeah. possessing children plus the child who possesses the puppet, there are 16 torches in total for the princess to light. This isn't a coincidence. It perfectly lines up with the 16 cassette tapes that you oh, had to collect in the original Help Wanted in order yeah, to... Yeah, because it's the whole... In fact, Glitch Trap only appears once the 16th one is lit further cementing that connection. But where things get really interesting is when you decode what oh, the no. is saying. What's, the what's it, ends, there's what's it gonna be? There's a dialog box along the bottom containing weird glitching text, but you'll notice that the patterns aren't random. Some shapes actually repeat themselves. These right here, and these right here. It's actually a letter substitution code that spells out everyone's favorite phrase from the game. I always, I always come back! <laughs> Taking it all one step further, we can actually wait. Wait, the that literally means moment. that Glitch Trap is the purple guy. Wait, what? And do some audio trickery by doubling the speed and then reversing it. We get this. Oh, yeah, I always come back. I always come Wait. back, let me out. So in essence, Princess Quest is showing us a recreation of the events from the original. Oh, Wanda. that's actually kind of better. A couple of things I kind of like it a little better. First, it basically proves 100% that this is, in fact, William Yeah, the purple Spirit guy. Man, not some sort of <laughs> AI or code meant to replicate him. It is him through and through. Dude wasn't lying when he said he always comes <laughs> back. He's got more lives than Jason Voorhees. He's also got himself a solid True. understanding of brand consistency. Afton always comes back. Yeah, Secondly, yeah. though, what Princess Quest is doing is confirming for us the origin story of our new killer, Vanny. Vanessa. In the original game, the fate of Tape Girl was unclear because she sometimes encouraged us to collect oh, wait, the tapes. Oh wait, is and Princess Girl did. Vanessa? But here we get clarity on the whole story. Vanny is the princess with yeah, the wait. lantern. She collects all the tapes, pieces, whatever, and gets taken over by Glitch Trap. This all confirms oh, what we that's even about better. before with Vanny in a previous theory from a year ago, that a young woman named Vanessa, Vanny for short, would be taken over by Afton to kill in his name, brainwashed or partially controlled by a spirit living inside of her. Yes, I hear you. But I know. No. What? 
There's no miscommunication. There's also a similar conversation currently hidden in the source code of Scott's website, except here you see both sides of the conversation. Stay the course. I will. Focus on my voice. I will. Don't let anyone lead you astray. I won't. Have you selected one? I have. The one that seems oh. to be selected is Gregory from the new Yeah. Gregory. So yeah, it is. It is Glam Rock Freddy. Is that it? Just a recap of it the is information Glam we Rock knew. Freddy. Are we just left to speculate about the rest until Security Breach finally comes out? Well, no. You see, in the last year, there's been one. Hey, Quartz Gazette reference. I like that. Vanny, and it's a nice Quartz Gazette reference. A game that I've largely ignored up until now. FNAF's augmented reality game. Oh yeah. Delivery. If you haven't eh. heard about this one, basically the concept is that it's animatronics mediocre. get shipped to your home, so you'll have yourself some new friends. Because let's be honest, fighting for your life against a malfunctioning robot is probably still better than trying to hold a normal conversation with a living, breathing human being. I think sure. I've been dancing around this one just because the possible canonicity of characters like Shamrock, Freddy, Liberty, Chica, and Clown Springtrap makes me have a nervous what? breakdown. But questionable lore implications of uh, flamethrower bear endo aside, this game has been seeding us more info over the entire last year about the yeah, history of Vanity. And glitch trap, and it requires us to do one of the scariest tasks any FNAF game has ever required reading emails. <laughs> yeah, true. You see, the game will occasionally share you on emails that aren't intended for your eyes. On one side, we have ourselves the story of a company working on behalf of Fazbear Entertainment to disassemble old animatronics and scan their circuit boards into their computer system. And, just like Tape Girl warned us about back in FNAF VR, this causes a virus to spread through the system. Quote from those emails, turns out that wasn't a glitch, we released a virus when we scanned that last circuit board. It spread really fast we're gonna need all hands oh. on deck new email hey Jim just checking in I emailed you earlier this week about a virus caused by one of your circuit boards which is currently spreading throughout our system and causing Glitch serious trap. problems please contact me ASAP thanks best Steve so that is our glitch trap origin story and to me it's especially interesting because I think it helps explain something that dates all the way back to FNAF 3 recently in the series what? we've learned that the FNAF games are canon in the games. Now, that's a really confusing well, yeah. sentence, so Wait. let me explain. In both FNAF VR and the Fazbear Frights books, it's confirmed that the urban legends about murders happening at Freddy's restaurants are mainstream enough to have gotten some video game spin-offs. Not necessarily the FNAF games that we know, and certainly not FNAF World, since everyone, including Scott, wants to play <laughs> but games I like FNAF by World. the legends it's, of the pizzeria. In it's FNAF underrated. VR, in fact, we're told that they were made by Fazbear Entertainment as a cover-up. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up. And looking back on it, I believe that we've seen those games. I think we've played those games. They're the 8-bit minigames from FNAF. They Fnaf are? Mangle's Quest, BB's Air Adventure, Chica's Party, and Stage 01. Heck, they might even include the Take Cake, Give Gifts, etc. minigames from FNAF 2. Those are the games being referenced in the games. I mean, what? they even have those sorts of cheesy titles that would come with cheap Atari Wait, they're games actual games? How do we know all of this and why am I talking about it now? Because of Glitch Trap. It's easy to forget, but the last minigame that you have to play in FNAF 3 features a glitched out bunny hopping. <laughs> I didn't even mean to put the pun there. Wait. Hopping between the various minigames. This is the first appearance. Wait, so Shadow Bunny is glitched. Wait, 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 wait. Wrapped inside the circuit wait, so Shadow Bunny glitch trap? Looking for an escape. An escape that doesn't actually get real. Wait, so Shadow Bunny glitch trap? A modern computer system meant to produce FNAF. VR. Now, admittedly, this Does is that mean Shadow Bonnie is glitch trap? We know Freddy Fazbear's Pizza was founded in 1983, as we see yeah, in yeah, the yeah, VR yeah. coins in Help Wanted. In FNAF 1, Phone Guy tells us that the animatronics have been around for 20 years. That puts FNAF 1 in 2003, not 1993 like I previously oh. thought. And based on the official really? description for FNAF 3, Fazbear's Fright and the discovery of Springtrap all happened 30 years after the closure of Freddy's, making that one roughly 20 23. Oh! Now, we have no idea when and how Afton got a piece of his soul 
into the circuit boards, probably via his extreme agony at getting springlocked. But if oh, this yeah, the is of agony. opening animatronic suits sent from Fazbear Entertainment and scanning the boards as implied by the emails, are we assuming that they opened up the spring trap suit, completely ignored the dead body inside, and scanned it? Just doesn't yeah. seem likely to me. Is Fazbear Entertainment rescuing the board after he was burned to death in FNAF 6? It's just odd. This is why I don't like to talk timeline with this series anymore. To me, the simplest solution here is that William Afton's soul is just in multiple places at once. Split like a Harry Potter horcrux, only instead of what? swords and scars, he's split between suits and circuit boards. And one of those iterations is Glitch Trap, stuck in the various game's codes until he's eventually released. But reminding all the way back to FNAF Special Delivery, there's a separate and related story happening in the secret inbox between Lewis and his fellow employee, Ness. Ness, as in... What? Ness. Uh, it's Vanny again, my friends. Here we see a series Wait, of emails really? where Ness is acting weird, and Lewis, the IT guy, is honestly acting weirder because he's creeping on Ness. Here's a few highlights from these emails. Hey, Ness, it's no big deal, but I wanted to reach out off the radar and talk oh. about the company policy about personal internet usage. Certain words and phrases trigger red flag reports, so your last order got automatically sent to me. Oh, Thank yeah, you. this! Mentioning torture is going to yeah, raise Ness, the alarm. Ness. If you have any questions about the policy, let me know. We could even get coffee or something and go over all the words to avoid. And now I've raised my own red flag. Good thing I'm the one who gets the notification. Smiley, Lewis. Hey, Ness. Wanted to see if you're doing okay. I appreciate your taking my advice about red flag search terms. If I thought I'd have to file an incident report on you, I think I'd just have to quit instead. I was Creep. a little worried. Maybe something is going on with you. One day you're researching flowers and the migration pattern of bees. Fascinating right and the next day you type in how far can a human being be cut in half before losing consciousness I figured maybe you're writing a screenplay or something always oh happy day what day. Lewis hey Ness so the word compliance by itself isn't gonna set off any red flags but the sentence how to induce compliance in human subjects and how to induce self compliance did actually get my attention I think the answer might involve chocolate chip cookies always works for me I also thought it was strange that these were immediately Immediately followed by searches that couldn't possibly have any relevant answers for you. Did you search for help by itself? Anyway, oh, still stands if you want to go over the so weird. Policy. That's so weird. Every day after work, we could oh, and then this guy's just weirder. Coffee if you want, Lewis. Oh, Lewis, when you say stuff like that, it makes me just sad. Bad what? But HR violations aside, these conversations yeah, tell so... a lot about Vanny's mental state. She is sharing control of herself. Yeah, in glitch trap. That's why we get references to her searching the internet for help. It's part of her psyche crying out for anything. Anyone who can save her. Anything that'll provide an escape. It's also why it's so important that Lewis calls out the searches for inducing compliance yeah. with human subjects and inducing self-compliance. That is Glitch Trap. Searching for a way to gain complete control over Vanny. Over her psyche. This further confirms something that we talked about in my last video. Oh, in yeah, that yeah. Episode, we talked about how she's a reluctant follower. That Afton isn't yeah, so she's not. On yeah, so she's not. Com yeah, wait, wait. Tends to hire out actors for the various vocal roles in the game. Vanny's listing was for a character named Reluctant Follower. So this woman is clearly a devotee. Yeah, so slowly controlled being by controlled Afton to an extent, but a part of her is actively fighting back, hesitant to do what he asks, which makes me think that in Security Breach we may be able to. Save oh yeah, maybe. Her. In fact, knowing that may help us out with the gameplay. Maybe it's a secret ending. Oh, a true a ending. True oh, ending. Yeah, maybe it is a secret that, ending. my friends, is what I believe to be the big twist that awaits us in Security Breach. Wait, wait, wait. As I finish this video, of course, new statues just dropped with important lore reveals. So let's yeah, just talk wait. about these real fast. With Gregory hiding inside of Freddy, definitely looks like my idea about gameplay being a version of hide-and-seek is absolutely confirmed. Or maybe Gregory is just piloting an 80s era bear shaped gun. Yeah, suit. maybe. Either way, I am totally <laughs> moving for it. As for the other statue that just dropped, looks like Vanny is going to be taking a page oh, out yeah, of the who's that? playbook. The classic security guard by day and serial killer at oh. night. Oh, habits die hard, I guess. But so in that's Vanny's what she case, looks here's like. my question. Is she going to remember it? My guess is no. I think it's going to be a classic case of oh, yeah. and Hyde. But who knows? I Jekyll guess and we're Hyde, just going to have to wait and see what it is. See, so, yeah, honestly, I, I actually enjoyed this. This was actually a good theory. I like how... He sort of analyzed the game. And also, 
This kind of, yeah, there's a lot of proof to, like, his past theories on the whole, like, mind control stuff. And also, yeah, I did not know about the mobile port at all of the VR game. And that, I, I like that the mobile game actually goes deeper and actually explains what happened to Vanessa. Because, like, we really didn't know. We, like, it was kind of just, like, a theory. But now it's kind of true, honestly. So I'm glad that there's a lot of stuff that's like proven in in this video and a lot of theory past theories that have been proven. So yeah, honestly, I I actually can't wait until security breach cuz there there's going to be some cool stuff. There there's something big. There's something big coming. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the like the movie, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>